I also have another career question. Yeah. Okay, so uh, three hours in Vancouver. So name me a place where I should go. The whole point of today's trip was to go around for free, not spend as much money. But I got this place called at this nice waterfront scene area. And I just missed the bus. Alright, I just arrived from uh, from Seattle to Vancouver right now. And then my flight got delayed because I'm going back home to Toronto. Yeah. And my flight leaves in five hours and 30 minutes. So that means I get me four hours to go to the city and come back. And I put a list on the plane. I made a list shown over here. So I'm gonna go through that list, but I probably won't. But I found this really nice uh, on off, like hop on and off like uh, bus route. So I'm gonna step on that one. But meanwhile, I'm gonna try to, so I have four hours to do all of this stuff. And I have no idea where I'm going, but it says, I met some few people that told me where the train is and how much to get by and where to go because I'm in Richmond right now. But we got four hours, actually three, because I have to be back here by four. And it's currently 12. So I have three and a half to four hours to do all these things. And I'm bringing you with me. One thing I regret is that I did the same thing in Germany. But I had 10 hour layover in Frankfurt, but I wasn't able to do all these things so I'm hoping that and I didn't vlog it so now I'm about to vlog it I just hope I make it back in time if not I'll just take an Uber yeah. first trip off to uh, go to Yale Town and then I'll see you Yale Town We made it to Waterfront Station. And currently, this is what it's looking like. My map is telling me to exit this way, and I have to walk around this street. What's my backpack looking like this? But. The city looks like Toronto itself. There's nothing much different. But it says it is. A nine minute walk to Gastown is a lot of shops areas and then there's a lot of uh, uh, dining areas and it's next to the waterfront so I'm gonna grab food from there enjoy my little walk and walk to Stanley Park next journey I'm not able to go to the other list of things that I put on because they're just way across the map from Vancouver and one is one is at one's like on the other side of Vancouver which is next to the airport and then Park Royal is also like another 15 minutes away and Suspension Bridge is like in the middle of the forest so that's definitely not happening so I'm gonna get some Italian food from Gastown so Gastown it is Gastown is that way it's a nine minute walk and I'll take you with me let's go When I said gas down, this is where it brought me. It's in the middle of nothing, to be honest. Because like, it's just a bunch of streets and a bunch of places. And I thought there would be like places where I would be able to eat. Why is it all manual focus, auto focus? I thought there would be places where I would be able to eat, but so far there is nothing. And I'm kind of pissed and annoyed. And kind of, I like partially stinks a little bit downtown. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna walk around this area here, see if I can find any food place, and then I'll just head over to Stanley Park. Well, I'm passing by this place, it's called International Village, and I have no choice but to go in there. It's called International Village, and I have no choice but to go in there, because there's not much stuff around Gastown. But there's little food places and stuff which I did not want to go into, because I don't want to waste time 
and I just want to, it's probably food in Stelly Park, I'm not sure yet, but what I'm going to do is I found a Starbucks near me in this village area. So I'm going to go to Starbucks and I'm going to order something. I'm going to ask the barista, be like, okay, I have three hours in Vancouver, what should I do? And then based on what she says, we'll make another plan. But for now, I'm going to go get coffee or something because I'm dying. I'll get the strawberry cream frappuccino. Sorry, which one? I said I'll get the strawberry cream frappuccino. The strawberry cream. Yeah. I also have another weird question. Yeah. Okay, so I have three hours in Vancouver. So name me a place where I should go. Rose. It's three hours in Vancouver. Where well, should we go? Ooh, have you right? gone to the Chinese historical gardens? Chinese. It's around the corner here. Okay. Um, that's really beautiful. Like it's traditional Chinese gardens, landscaping and stuff. Okay. Um, if you're looking for something a little more gritty, anything around Chinatown. Here, I'll come over there. Okay. Okay, let's just do that and take a look or whatever. Yeah. Um, like it's the historical gardens that Sun Yat Sen. They're just around the corner here, so it's walking distance. I got it. Um, and then kind of this part of town is kind of a lot of the old architecture. It's pretty run down. Okay. Um, so, but Chinese? It, yeah, the Chinese gardens. Chinese gardens. Oh, that one? Yeah. Sun the garden? Yeah, the sun garden. Okay. It's like it's a two minute walk. Um, and that's really like they've got the koi pond. I don't think I got the right one. Uh oh no. Oh no, Oak Street. You want? Yeah. That one. That yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. When you're getting food and your phone dies, and my camera dies. So I hope you got what she said. But she said something about the Chinese garden. So we're gonna go to the Chinese garden. And we're gonna, she said some pretty area with the harbor front. And she said there's a bus that goes all the way to Stanley Park. So we're gonna go to the Chinese Gargan. We're gonna go to the harbor front. There's a couple of restaurants and stuff there. So maybe I'll be able to charge my camera. And then we're gonna hop on to the Stanley Park route. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy my Starbucks and walk to this Chinese garden. <laughs> I'll see you when I get to the Chinese garden. So apparently, that's the Chinese garden. <laughs> but you need to reserve spots. And then, the whole point of today's trip was to go around for free, not spend as much money. But, so far, not good. I got, got to go to work on the harbor. If I don't get good spots there, I'll just go to Stanley Park and I'll just head to the airport. I'm not giving up. I'm still looking. But so far, this is what I found. I'm annoyed. It is a beach bus stop or whatever. And this is supposed to take me to the harbor front area or Yale Town, where I was at. I passed by it when I was in the subway or on the train. But. I hope my little compass card or the day pass that I got works for this because I don't want to pay again. Since I already paid like $25 for this. It's close to a beach or a park I'm gonna get. It's supposed to be the harbor front. I took the bus out here. And this area is a little bit more clean, nice. A little more lovely, outdoorsy area. What I can do. Oh, there's a lot of yachts and stuff around here. And there's a nice breakfast place over here, so maybe I'll just go in there. We'll have some brunch. Or maybe there's a couple of restaurants around here. I can go in too. Oh, this one looks nice.
Stanley Park is pretty far, so I'm going to a place called Canada Place. So I'm gonna go there, and then it's like next to the subway, so I'm gonna take that subway, go there, and then after that, I'm gonna straight head to the airport, because right now it's about uh, 2.37. So 2.37, I got about, I got about an hour, so. It takes 12, 15 minutes to get there, and then I'm gonna enjoy my time and have some food around there. And then from there, if I hop on the subway train from 3.30 or 3.45, I'll be at the airport by 4.15 or 4.20, and my plane leaves at six. So I'll have plenty of time to go to the airport, even eat and you know do what I gotta do, because I really have to be. Because of COVID, every washroom was closed. And I just missed the bus. And I just missed the bus. And I just missed the bus. I didn't miss my bus. I'm supposed to go on a train, not a bus. So that's good news. And now I'm heading to Canada Place. The Stanley Park is pretty far. To Canada Place, which is that. And it's great amazing view well it's actually prettier than I expected well I just went to we just me and Vancouver just had a bad start where I just went straight to Gastown which is a really old town just look at those pretty 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 mountains that's Vancouver conventional sand there oh look at that now the goal is to look for a nice restaurant where I can fly my drone Ooh, there's a couple of restaurants down there I can go to. And look how pretty the city is. Finally, we actually see the city. And more nature than Toronto. It looks like, uh, it looks like Toronto, except there's more nature. Up those hills and towards West Vancouver. And all that stuff. I really hope you can hear me fine because my battery is dead from my camera and my mic is... The camera doesn't have a mic, so... Yeah. I forgot to film, but look at this amazing food I got. This place called, got this nice waterfront scene area. But yeah, this is amazing. I feel like I'm gonna be late. At this point, I don't really care. It is currently 3.30. Wait, did I just say I don't really care? Wait, I do care, I'll take that back. 3.30 and I have to be at the airport by 4 because my flight leaves at 6. Mm, this food is actually amazing, better than I thought it would be. My food is at 6 so I have to finish this like, as fast as I can because I got to get out of here. I got and people in Vancouver are really friendly. I don't know if it's because I was in the US for a long time, but we can really tell the difference. Mm. Okay, fuck my life. It's 3.45. I said I'll be at the airport by 4. It's 3.45 right now. And then my GPS saying it's about uh, 30 minutes to get to the airport and my flight leaves at 6, it's almost 4. So wish me luck, fingers crossed, I'll still be able to make it on time. Peace out. But so much for this tour. And alright, I'm gonna say bye bye Vancouver. See you later, alligator. I just found the subway. I'm not lost. I'm making it. I met a few good people so much for a six hour trip well worth it well well worth it lesson learned if you ever have a layover make sure it's really long to the fact that you can go out